Alrighty guys, welcome back. So we are doing the Chemcon one as I promised from the previous video. Um, I think in the future I might just pause the video when I'm talking because it's hard to always get the sound right. Because what would happen if I if I want to talk while it's doing it, I have to make this game, the sound lower. And it might be harder for people to hear, so it might be better if I just pause the video like a normal person. Talk and then go on. So yeah, um, see so where we go on this one guys. It's only a, like a... 30, a bit over 3 minutes, so it's actually not that short. It's about 45 minutes, so it's like the others. Um, But yeah, let's get started. And then I can finish up for today, guys. So that's kind of cool. I mean, I can play games. Probably going to have a nap, to be honest. I'm exhausted as. So yeah, we're about to get started, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Cheers. GS 2024 Capcom Online Program. Today's program will deliver news on Monster Hunter Wilds and other new titles. I guess that's good guys, some can always use some normal monster hunters. First, let's start with the latest info on our fighting games. The fight rages on in Street Fighter 6, which has entered its second year and is more exciting than ever. As the second character to be added in year two, Terry, from SNK's popular fighting game series, Fatal Fury, finally joins the fight. Terry Booga! I didn't even realize um, Street Fighter's doing so well. I mean, because I'm not into the fighting scene, guys, so I don't really know all this kind of stuff. So yeah, let's get going. Terry is well-rounded with useful rushing attacks and projectiles that can be used to adapt to many situations. Oh yeah, you know what, I'll just have a look at these guys because it's just easy for me to do. I don't want to keep forcing it every time um, for these things because it'll slow it down a bit. It's easy to do it like this. Mai joins the fight in early 2025 and Elena in spring of 2025. Expect more info at a later date. That sounds good, guys. Capcom Fighting Collection 2 includes eight popular titles, including games from the Capcom vs. SNK series. Capcom vs. SNK 2 Mark of the Millennium 2001, Power Stone, and more return in a collection of eight games that rocked arcades of their time. Online play has been added to all included titles, allowing you to challenge opponents from around the world. The new gallery mode lets you browse illustrations and design documents created during development, many of which well, it's have nice never to say been some before. bonus. Capcom Fighting Collection 2 is planned for release in 2025. Next year, huh? That's not bad. I can wait a year or two. Next up, Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics. Seven retro Marvel titles from arcades in the 90s are being revived on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Steam. Play both co-op and competitively, just like back in the arcade. Don't worry if it's your first time. Use difficulty settings and one-button specials to ease your transition into the game. All included titles have been recreated exactly as they were in arcades. <laughs> The digital version is available now, and it's the physical good. version will I mean, release on November Good way of getting into fighting games, guys. I mean, I won't, but hey. Don't miss this next title. Dead Rising Deluxe, and... Okay. More than a remaster, a deluxe remaster. The origin of Zombie Paradise action returns with remastered graphics on the latest platforms. Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster is available now. That's not to say it's In addition out. to the main game, several downloadable contents are also available to purchase. The digital version is available now, and the physical version will release on November 8th. Find a way to survive through 72 hours of hell. Ace Attorney Investigations Collection is out now. Fans of the beloved Ace Attorney series should have no objection to two Ace Attorney Investigation titles starring Miles Edgeworth returning in full HD. That'd be a good game to get into at some point. Experience the definitive versions of each of these games with additional features and special contents. Boys, now I still have special content. 
Go oh, guys, I'm a little bit tired. Now it's time for some new ah, yes. the Monster well, Hunter I was series. wondering what's going to happen with that. Um, First so... up is this title. Monster Hunter now, okay. Thank you to all the hunters around the world for helping Monster Hunter now achieve 15 million downloads. Here's the latest info on Monster Hunter now. Oh. First, oh. we have an update on Season 3, which started in September. A year after Monster Hunter now launched, we're jumping into Season 3, which adds... Magnamalo, Rajong, and Aknasam. You can now also cook well done steak in Monster Hunter Now. Yeah, why not? Why don't you just enemies? Next up, info on the next physical event. For two days from October 12th to the 13th, Nergigante will appear in Shibuya, Japan for the first time. Seek out traces of Nergigante and track it down. Even outside of Shibuya, you'll have a chance to challenge Nergigante. An in-game event is planned at a later date. During the event, Gold Rathian and Silver Rathalos will also appear. For the latest info on Monster Hunter Now, please visit the official website. Regular content updates will continue to add new monsters and elements to the game. The next major update is planned for December. Please continue to enjoy Monster Hunter now. Next, we have some news on Monster Hunter Wilds. Hello everyone, I am Yozo Tsuchimoto, producer of Monster Hunter Wilds. Monster Hunter Wilds, which we previously revealed is coming out in 2025, now has a release date. Oh yay! As announced, Monster Hunter Wilds launches on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, S, and Steam simultaneously around the world on February 28, 2025. This is the main visual for Monster Hunter Wilds. Please look forward to the ultimate monster hunting experience with seamless immersion. Ah, looks good, guys. I have played a little bit of Monster Hunter, but not much. In today's Capcom Online program, while looking back at the information regarding Monster Hunter Wilds that has been released up until now, we'll also show you the trailer that has just been released. Please take a look. Welcome to the world of Monster Hunter Wilds. Together, we will journey to the Forbidden Lands, uncharted territory that the Guild has begun investigating. The Forbidden Lands were believed to be uninhabited until just a few years ago, when a boy named Nata was found there and taken into guild protection. Nata was all alone after escaping an attack on his village by a mysterious monster, and the guild has assembled an expedition to investigate. It seems we must do a more thorough investigation. Our objectives will be to investigate the monster, known as the White Wraith, and to rescue Nata's people, known as the Keepers. Who am I, you ask? My name is Alma, and I'll be your guide on this journey. Are you ready to step into a world of adventure? Let's go! Alright, that one story so far. consists of a hunter, handler, smithy, and palico. And it'll be all hands and paws on deck, with each unit carrying out their own vital roles for the guild. Hunter! As our unit's hunter, you're sanctioned to bear weapons and hunt monsters. I guess no shit there, guys. And as your handler, it's my responsibility to manage your quests, authorize hunts, and ensure that you have all the information you need. Gemma, our smithy, will take monster materials you provide and forge and make, equipment. I mean, yeah, this kind of game is kind of interesting, guys. I definitely Perfect. want to give it a shot. And your palico is your trusty companion, there to lend support whenever What is an animal? I know it's an animal. Don't beat that about what my animal. We'll take it from here. I mentioned there's more than one unit. We belong to Avis unit. And we'll have the honor of teaming up with the other units, like Astrum unit, to see our mission through. 
The guild gave special oh, assignments to some of the other units from the expedition, mine included. Well, that sounds good, guys. Um, I think we'll be in the game. Our initial foothold into the Forbidden Lands will be the we'll windward it, guys. plains. I hate it. Due to its ever-changing weather, the plains will put both the wealth and the wrath of nature on full display. During the fallow, ravenous carnivores battle for every scrap of food, and a phenomenon known as the sand tide conjures thunder and lightning. After the storm comes the plenty. A time of abundant life and fertility. With every shift in the environment, the creatures of the plains change their behavior to adapt and survive. To succeed in our expedition, we'll have to be every bit as observant, versatile, and resourceful. Constantly pod. A rich, diverse ecosystem has arisen from the Windward Plains' unique climate. The Doshagama, for example, form packs centered around an alpha. Taking on multiple large monsters at once is a recipe for disaster. Yes, it is. In order to face the alpha in a more ideal situation, it's wise to disperse the pack first. In sandy areas, you'll encounter Balahara. Their flexible bodies allow them to maneuver freely. In Basically, and junk out of worms. The They're capable of creating quicksand traps. Unfortunate not just for hunters, but for any large monsters that get dragged into them. You may also encounter Chatacabra, toad like monsters that favor the more rocky areas of the plains. These monsters apply sticky saliva to their forelimbs and then fortify We're them. We're all based off our real um, the animals and sizable tongue, basically while crucial make to its survival, is also its biggest weakness. Don't miss your chance to attack when the tongue is exposed. Nature has one rule you're either the hunter or the hunted. That goes for monsters too, as they battle. True, guys. I mean, you're in real life as well. In the Windward Plains, one creature sits squarely at the top of the food chain, Ray Dow. Often spotted during the onset of the Sand Tide, Ray Dow has adapted to the relentless lightning storms and is able to use this adaptation to discharge devastating attacks to any that threaten its territory. If you are called upon to face it, Hunter, I ask that you take extreme precaution. While out on hunts, you might spot some small creatures at your feet, or perched in the trees. Hey. All of the endemic life you see has evolved to survive in this harsh environment. I cannot help but to be amazed by these creatures. The sheer will to survive, even in such an unforgiving environment. Let's talk about the expedition's base camp. This is the heart of operations, where you can do practically everything, whether it's crafting weapons and armor or resupplying provisions. One tool that's sure to come in handy out in the vast expanse of the plains is the pop-up camp. While limited in number, these provide a sort of home away from home while out in the field. <sighs> pop-up camps serve as fast travel waypoints. A place to change your equipment. And an item restocking point. See how useful they are? Of course, if a monster finds one of them, it might not last very long. We'll need to think carefully where exactly we set them up. In our travels, there's a chance we'll cross paths with the people of the Windward Plains. Our interactions with this new culture could be what sustains us on our quest. An incredible adventure awaits with new monsters, new friendships, and awe-inspiring vistas. 
we reach this net. I almost forgot. Have you decided on a weapon yet? Every hunter's journey begins with weapon selection. Would you rather get in close and unleash with all your might? Keep your distance and dish out a relentless assault. Deliver stinging blows as you stand your ground? Or strike with a flurry of slicing attacks? Fourteen weapon types are available, and at least one of them is the perfect fit for you. If you're not sure what to pick, ask me. I can provide advice on which is the most suitable. If mobility is your first priority, then this weapon might be a good match. Hunters can't just rely on weapons. You'll need to make use of items like shock traps and barrel bombs. Not to mention any endemic life and geographical features that you come across. It's up to you to read the situation and use all you've got to take down your target. One thing's for sure, hunting is hungry work. With your portable barbecue grill, you'll be able to prepare meals on the go. I don't know how to eat that. And yes, that includes meat. What well, action we have to get, guys? I hope. I thought it's so it's The only thing is these little cat friends. Your palico is a feline companion that provides various types of support out in the field. Whether it's laying traps to hinder monsters, or healing you when you've taken a beating. Heels and bells! The two of you make a pretty good team. You can oh. always trust me to have your back. You bet real cats can't oh, do that. that. reminds me. Be sure to keep an eye on your health gauge. It will start shaking to warn against any potentially life-threatening attacks. There's no better way to traverse the Windward Plains than astride your sacred. Whether it's a target you're trying to reach, or just a point on the map, your sacred will follow the scent and take you there. Not only can you gather and use items on the go, you can even perform mounted attacks. And if you find yourself in a tight situation, you can call your sacred, and it will swiftly take you out of harm's way. Whether you're hunting or just exploring, that extra mobility will prove rather useful. Okay, I can walk it. This one's like really good. If you're struggling to face a monster alone, you'll be able to call for reinforcements. Fire an SOS flare, and up to three hunters will race to your side to assist with the hunt. In multiplayer, You'll be connected online with a team of hunters from around the world. So it's fun to go up there. If okay, you are cool. unable to fill the hunting party, or if you'd prefer to play offline, then NPC support hunters will come to your aid instead. I don't see the benefit of that. I think playing online is probably a good thing. Hunt monsters and harvest materials from them. Use those materials to upgrade your weapons and armor. And get out there and join the quest with your hunter friends. Your brand new life as a hunter is about to I mean, it looks really good, guys. I really do like it. I don't know. That summarized the information on Monster Hunter Wilds. Yeah, There's a lot about it, too. And now, we'd like to show you the newest trailer. Really necessary? I mean, you're already showing it a lot about the game. Your attention to the end of this trailer. Oh, right, so there's something to show. I was still hoping that I imagined the whole thing. It's burned into my mind. So, Captain, what's your team been getting up to? What are you doing? Hey. The guild gave special assignments to some of the other units from the expedition. Mine included. Oh, this forest is amazing. My fur isn't built for this kind of weather. That's causing the water currents to surge too. This is 
Which means your lunch. Alright, three minutes already, guys. Remind me of those little guys from um Star Wars. I don't like the sound of that. So that looks really good, guys. I mean, it's a lot of information about it. What the hell are these little guys doing? So that's pretty fun, guys. I'm playing some DLCs. Okay, cool. Base game, base game relax, and base game basically with everything. Now, hopefully, it comes out as a physical copy, guys. This is you know, I prefer a physical copy. In a After a very long absence, Yian Cuckoo is back with a vengeance in Monster Hunter Wilds. Series Pets. veterans may remember it as a tutorial monster, helping new players learn the basics of hunting. We hope you'll look forward to seeing just when and how it will show up this time around. Now, without further ado, let's dive into what we saw in our newest promotional trailer. Hey, don't know what's talking. This trailer marks the world's first look at the new monster, Arkville. It will be featured on the game's cover as the flagship monster. Known to hunters as the White Wraith, it will be the subject of your expedition to the Forbidden Lands. Arkfeld, with its chain-like appendages, was long thought to have been extinct, and its ecology remains shrouded in mystery. Expect more information on this monster soon. Chemitries are brute wyverns found in the Windward Plains. They spread a flammable substance and ignite it by dragging their tails along the ground. They're often What's seen by doing? other Sorry, guys, monsters over carrion. What's that? True to its name, the Scarlet Forest and its red-tinged waters are teeming with room, lush flora, diverse fauna, and monsters both large and small. This diverse biome is adjacent to the Windward Plains. Traveling between areas will not require any loading screens. Oh, guess that's what could cut hardly. Meet the Wudwuds, denizens of the forest. These Linians live among the great biodiversity that can be seen in the Scarlet Forest. Find them and see how they've adapted to the environment. Yeah. 
Okay, Monster weather Hunter change. Wild features dynamic weather in its various locales. Torrential downpours, common in the Scarlet Forest, dramatically alter the area's ecology. Oh, great. You can make use of these environmental changes <laughs> to gain the upper hand as you hunt. But beware, the area's apex predator, Uthduna, will appear during these heavy rains. A leviathan, Uthduna makes use of moisture and its own bodily fluids to create a protective veil around itself. It moves with great speed despite its massive frame. The apex predators of each area have adapted to their habitats in many such ways. You'll need to understand both the monsters and the environments they inhabit in order to survive. This is just a small preview of the new monsters and locales that you'll encounter in Monster Hunter Wilds. Stay tuned for more information coming soon. Here is the product information. Monster Hunter Wilds releases on February 28, 2025. It will have a same-day worldwide release on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, S, and Steam. Oh, that's good news. In addition to the standard edition of Monster Hunter Wilds, a deluxe edition, including the main game and additional DLC, will be available digitally on the same day. Furthermore, the premium deluxe edition, which includes the main game, and three DLC sets planned for future release will also be available digitally. Premium bonuses are also included, so please check it out. Oh, I'm hoping you have a physical copy, guys. Come on. The Guild Knight's set of Hunter layered armor and Hope Charm Talisman will also be included as special bonuses. The Monster Hunter Wild's digital mini art book is included as a bonus for those who pre order on the PlayStation Store. Be sure not to miss it. Not really okay. Once again, Monster Hunter Wilds launches worldwide simultaneously on February 28th, 2025. Pre-orders have already begun, so please reserve your copy now. Well, I'm sure I can get one, guys. The Capcom booth at Tokyo Game Show 2024, going on now, is offering the first opportunity in Japan to play Monster Hunter Wild. Oh, how rude. Available to play is a story trial which lets you experience the beginning of the story and the Doshagama hunt in which you can experience more of the action. At the Monster Hunter Wilds booth, a life-size figure of a sacred is also on display. So be sure to stop by. I would if I was in there. We plan to show Monster Hunter Wilds at other game events across the world. Please look forward to more info on Monster Hunter Wilds at a later date. Thank you very much. I went for a while, guys. That was a long one. Now, now let's take a look at some info for the 20th anniversary of Monster Hunter. Oh, sorry, oh my to finish. celebrate the 20th oh, anniversary of Monster Hunter, a collaboration with the worldwide guitar brand Fender. All right, so it looks like just going to be talking about Monster to mark Hunter this collaboration. And... The Rathalos Telecaster, oh, with the motif of the Fire Wyvern Rathalos, will be the guy, so... Also, the limited Rathalos Telecaster will be sold exclusively at Fender Flagship Tokyo and the official online shop. The body is adorned with three tones of red in the image of Rathalos, and the neck features eye-catching inlays. The limited edition features Rathalos claw marks on the pick guard and pickup cover. Guitar picks and pick cases inspired by item boxes will also be available for purchase. Sales for the model to be sold worldwide are planned to begin in March of 2025 at official Fender shops and regional official retailers of Fender products. 
Pre-orders will be available starting Friday, September 27th at Fender Flagship Tokyo in Harajuku. This is a limited production collaboration product, so don't miss your chance. I guess if you're musical, guys, you can go and get it. As well as I'm not musical, so I couldn't care less. Fender's official website. Capcom is also considering including this collaboration in-game in Monster Hunter Wilds via the emote function. Please wait for more details at a later date. Next up, we have news about a collaboration with the popular robot toy series, Transformers. Of course you do. Check out this brand new trailer. What is this? A bot? Another boss? The first collaboration with Transformers, which celebrates its 40th anniversary this year. Tomy will release the collaboration product Rathalos Prime. Okay. Rathalos Prime transforms from a Rathalos into a robot mode designed after Optimus Prime, the main character from Transformers. The monster mode faithfully reproduces Rathalos and is able to recreate poses from the game. Pre-orders start on September 27th with a planned summer 2025 release. This miraculous collaboration celebrates milestones for both series. What is it, a toy or what? I don't know what's... That's all for the 20th anniversary of Monster Hunter. But please take a look at this. Ah, uh, a city, okay. Oh, here we go. What the hell are we talking about? Monster Hunt the bridge. Where is that? Oh, it's an expo. Okay. Not really special, but okay. Now, the latest news from Capcom. First of all, we would like to introduce the digital sale, offering popular titles at affordable prices. Yeah, I don't really care about that. Tokyo Game Show 2024, we have discounts on Monster Hunter World and Iceborne. Alongside Monster Hunter stories on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, and Steam. How many friends on sale for the first time. Monster Hunter games are there? Probably in addition to Dragon's Dogma 2, we also have Street Fighter 6, 
with year two doing, content Musa? available now and other Capcom games on sale for a limited time. Please check it out. And now, an announcement from the Ace Attorney series. Oh yeah, it's something different. Shown, a product introduction trailer is planned for release. Whether you're already a fan of the Ace Attorney series or have yet to play it, this introduction trailer will give you the lowdown on the Ace Attorney series. Please look forward to it. Uh-huh. We're excited to kick off another season of Street Fighter League, the official team oh, yeah, guys, for the latest just... title in the series, oh, Street Fighter 6. This season, Street Fighter League Japan welcomes new teams, Crazy Raccoon, Fukushima Ibushigin, and Yogi Ball Reject. A total of 12 teams will compete in Street Fighter League Japan. Street Fighter League US and Europe return later this year, each with six teams. And don't miss the Street Fighter League World Championship at Capcom Cup 11. Champions from each region will clash to crown the ultimate champion. Capcom Pro Tour 2024 continues as an intense 1v1 tournament series. Players qualifying through offline or World Warrior regional tournaments compete at Capcom Cup 11. This epic showdown will be at Yogoku Kokugikan Sumo Arena, birthplace of SF Esports, with a grand prize of $1 million. Players from all over the world, both professional and amateur, can still participate. For tournament details, please check the official Capcom Esports channels. This is all the information we have for today. I would like to end by showing videos of our featured titles and say goodbye. Thank you for watching. Sometimes, guys, my camera doesn't always work, and I have to muck around with it. Um, so that was the uh, Capcom one. Now, as I said, that was a bit more of a serious one than the previous one. Uh, because of the lack of videos, it wasn't really like a big showcase. So it had like major, mostly one, two things. So the beginning part of it was just mostly um, Street Fighter and the fighting arcade games and stuff like that. We're talking about bringing that out. So that's going to be good for a lot of people who love those type of games. Like the arcade version of Street Fighters and the other fighting games, which I'm not very familiar with, so I'm not gonna try to pretend I am. And then, but the majority of the um, showcase was about Monster Hunter. I uh, wasn't Mon Monster Hunter Wilds, um, so that's a big part of the uh, the whole thing. And I think it looks really good. I personally look like it has fun, but I haven't played it or anything, so I can't say anything. At least with um the gameplay and all that, but it looks really good. It's definitely something I'm going to consider um putting on um pre order um. At the moment, guys, I've got a lot of things coming out in pre order. I think I'm going to be owing my local game shop a lot of money the way it's going. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about the end part of it. I mean, I think it was good, a good showcase, guys. Now, it's not going to get like a big score like an Xbox or PlayStation one would normally because they have so many games. This one really only had two, and one of them, I think I was saying one that we're really talking about, so I'm going to give it a good score. It was a good high score. It's a bit higher than the Xbox one. Mostly, I think it will do really well, and I think it was a good information, so that's why I'm giving it a high score, and I say about six, maybe six and a half. Um, it was not why I was going to give it a seven or anything more, or I need more games with a bit more information. To go that high, but I was pretty happy with that. I mean, it's probably... yes, guys, I know it's a higher rating than the other two, even though the other ones had more um games and shit. I think the way this was done was a bit more professional. I just like the whole layout of it, so yeah, I'm gonna finish it here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, I think that is it for today. I don't need to do any more freaking this stuff, so guys, yeah, I think I'll finish up. There's no stream today. Um, there might be a stream tomorrow, if not the day after, because oh, I don't really want to concentrate on my game streams while there's an event going on. Um, my, my main goal should be the event itself, but the streams can wait a few, a, a, anywhere one to one to three days. It's not going to kill it. And once the event starts winding down and there's no more real things to talk about, and then I'll get back to it, and yeah. Anyway, I enjoyed it, guys. I hope you guys did too. Cheers.